How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Today we are doing something special. This is going to be another challenge video in a way. It's not really a challenge, but it kind of is. Today we're going to be playing the worst legends in Brawlhalla according to their win rate percentage. That's right. Not based on like what legends I think are the worst. No, 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 no. Not even close. This is... This, this would be like almost backwards, but I'm looking on a website, Brawlmance.com, that claims to have analyzed over 25 million Brawlhalla games. So the lowest win rate legends, I thought that was interesting to do a video on. So I'm not going to give you the whole list right, at, right away, but we are going to start with the lowest win rate legend. Can you guess who it is? It's Jiro. That's right, Jiro has the lowest win rate legend in the game so far based on everybody playing the game. <laughs> so, so uh, does that mean Jiro is the worst legend in the game? I don't think so. Uh, but is he the worst for most people? Apparently he is. Jiro has a 47.09% win rate. I think a lot of it has to do with his only having three defense. That's why I upped his defense to have four defense. That's probably the, the only thing you can do. Uh, but I think another reason why Jiro has a low win rate is because he's one of those legends that looks cool. So a lot of people try to play him and then they realize that Scythe is not easy. <laughs> Scythe takes a lot of practice to be good with. And Jiro has low defense and he has strange signatures. Like they don't I mean, the side sig is pretty, pretty, pretty normal, but the uh, the neutral sig, the the uh, the down sig, all of those are pretty crazy. There we go. Don't be coming at me off stage when I got a sight, mister. You in a rush? You in a rush to get down there? But yeah, Jiro, <laughs> he's actually a really good legend. I wouldn't say he's one of the best, but I wouldn't say he's one of the worst either. It really just depends on who's playing him. If you think Jiro's bad, honestly, you should see Phazon play Jiro, because Phazon, obviously, he's one of the best pl uh, players in the world, but... But he knows how to play Jiro. Probably better than almost anybody. Okay, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. But as you can see, I'm doing pretty good with Jiro. I'm helping that win rate rise, baby. <laughs> Any Jiro mains in the audience because if there are, I feel bad that your legend has to be the lowest win rate. But it is what it is. Hey, look at that. I got three stock. Let's go. GG dude, GG. Scythe is pretty good once you know how to like use it, as I just demonstrated, but yeah. All right, the next worst legend of Brawlhalla. Can you guess it? It's not Vector. For some reason, everybody thinks Vector is like the worst legend. Vector is the lowest play rate, but he's actually number eight and the top win rate legend. That's right, Vector, he's the lowest played legend in the game. Yet he's the eighth out of 52 most winning win rate legend. <laughs> so people people really don't know. Yeah, but anyways, win rate, play rate, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Like as I said, it doesn't really matter. Alright, but the second lowest win rate legend is Linfei. Linfei has a 47.27% win rate. That's not very good. That's less than half. <laughs> so, uh, in fact, every legend that I'm going to play today has a less than 50% win rate overall. So, um, I'm doing my part. Doing my part to help. Assuming I can get a win here. If you guys like Brawlhalla content, you like the video, please actually drop a like. And, of course, you can subscribe for more content. Alright, we're going against a core. I like that clan name. You make me better? That's kind of a wholesome clan name right there. Alright, Linfei. People have done you bad. 
I will attempt to get a win with the Lin. A win with the Lin. Oops, sorry. I'll let you get the weapon. I, I kind of, I, I, I hit him because he was, he was kind of swinging at me. So I, I was more in self-defense there. All right, you want to hop and do that side air tactic with the hammer? Ain't gonna work. Can't jump over me. I got the neutral airs of death. Oh my. Okay, car. You, you're making this whole experiment go bad. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't jump on top of me, Core. It's gonna be a fiery death if you do. Oh my goodness, I was not trying to do a neutral sig. Oh, he did it again! Oh my gosh, okay. Lidve, I'm sorry, we're not gonna lose. We can't, we have to increase the win rate. Okay, goodbye, Cor. You're dead, you're dead. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. He may have taken the first stock. He may have won the battle, but he had not won the war. Oh, I love that move. Another underrated Lin Fei move is her Katar down Sig. That one, it literally shoots a fireball. Okay, how many other moves do you know shoot a fireball in Brahalla? Exactly, like none. I would say a uh, Fate Scythe Side Sig also shoots a projectile, but. Gonna have to do some Qatar dominance here. He always tries to go above me to get back on stage. Which makes hitting the Qatar down sig a little harder, but look at that. I could, I'll try to still hit it. See? The fireball pushes them so hard too. GG dude, GG. He took my first stock, but that's it. He flipped on that switch, man. I just could not lose. GG dude, GG. Alright guys, the next lowest played win rate, or sorry, not lowest played, lowest win rate legend is a shock. Like when I saw this legend number three on the win, lowest win rate, I was shocked because this legend is one of the top five, at least top ten best legends in the game in my opinion. It's Mako, not even kidding. Mako is number three lowest win rate at 47.32%. Barely better than Lin Fei. And Mako is, like I said, one of the best legends. All right, I'm gonna go Goldforge Yomengander because you probably don't see Goldforge Yomengander too often. I also have black, but you know, here we go. A mirror match. Yomengander Mako level three versus level three. Although Strike isn't using the cool weapons. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna try to up the win rate right here for Yormungandr Mako. Let's go. Forty-seven percent is abysmally low for how good this legend is. the dunk on Mako. How could Mako only have a 40... Oh my goodness. 47% win rate with SIGs. These, this good. Weapons this good. Impossible. It should be. Maybe I shouldn't have went for the double slap. Oh my goodness. Now I'm defending. Oh! Oh! Good play, good play, good play. All right, let's go. Get that off of me.
Bye bye. One little tap from the great sword when they're in red and they are dead. With moves like that, how can Mako be so low on the win rate? We shall never know. Do you guys have your theories on why Mako is the third lowest win rate legend? At this point in time, anyway. I feel like this is uh, Blueberry Fanta versus Orange Fanta. <laughs> With the blades. <laughs> GG dude, GG. Well played. Well played, GG dude. Alright, the fourth lowest win rate legend is Lord Vrax with a win rate of 48.14%. All right, let's use a good Lord Vrax skin that you don't see too often. How about Space Dogfighter Vrax? You never see this one, I bet. We're gonna go black. Let's, let, we're gonna go undercover as a try hard Lord Vrax main, okay? I don't ever play hardly Lord Vrax, but I do watch Lord Vrax play a little bit because my good friend SkillsWG plays Lord Vrax quite a bit and so I get to see how he plays. I can't really play Lord Vax like how Skills plays Lord Vax, but you know, we're gonna try to, to make Skills proud right here. Going against Salad Brain. I think I fought Salad Brain quite a few times. I don't exactly remember, but the name seems familiar. And seeing as they're a diamond player, they're probably really good. I couldn't even use my recovery. He just come over there and, and grab me straight down. How are you gonna bully me like that? Oh yeah, walk right into that second punch of that green blaster stuff. Man, he really did just wait and see what I did and then countered. I should have done a down sig. I'm not used to playing Lord Vax, like I said. Because the down sig on Lord Vax is incredible. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Woo! Having to focus a little bit because this dude is playing really, really, really counter heavy. Got him! Oh my goodness! Lord Vrax downsig is so good. GG dude, GG. Well played though, that was a good one. Alright guys, I'm gonna do one more, just so we can do the, the, not the top five, but the bottom five, right? The bottom five worst win rate. Number five is Fate. Shocking, shocking. Literally Fate is one of the top three best legends, top five easy in my book. And yet, Fate only has a 48.56% win rate. That's crazy. We're gonna go ahead and play some Fate. 
Fate is actually, uh, if I look at my win rate for all of my legends, Fate is the highest win rate legend for me. But apparently she's the fifth lowest win rate out of 52 legends. I think there's 52. 53 now? I don't remember. That's pretty crazy to me. Mako and Fate both shocked me so much. Lord Vax and Faye, Zero, you know, whatever. What a dodge. Oh, don't be trying to go over that mine. That was a decoy, bro. alive but you're not oh <laughs> the reverse <laughs> gg oh no not gg he got one more sock all right i've been using the orb this whole time dang i could have had the gimp right there think he's going to do that neutral sig to me and then they never do. Wow. I got another neutral sig hit there and didn't kill. GG dude. GG. Another three stock. Let's go. Alright guys. Well I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, were enlightened a little bit on at least the, the bottom win rate legends. Like I said at the beginning it doesn't really matter the win rate. Any of these legends can be good as I just showed. Uh, you know, but they are the lowest win rate for a reason, so it does make me think, but still, Fate and Mako especially are top 5 legends, top 10 at worst, and uh, Linfei, Jiro, and Lord Vax are not bad. It just depends on who's playing and how well you practice and everything, and anyways guys, let me know what you think about this list and uh, in the comments below. I, I will definitely read those comments. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.